What's going on, Geminites? Gem Mint here. We're back with another statue unboxing and review. This time we have the Starfire Premium Format from DC Comics Teen Titans. This is number 142 out of 500, the exclusive version that comes with the little Beast Boy and Cyborg Roomba. We're going to get her out of the box. Before we get started, though, check out the giveaway we got going on right now. On our road to 100K, we're doing some milestone giveaways every 2,500 subscribers. So this is phase two. We're giving away this Thanos bus by Sideshow Collectibles once we hit 95,000 subscribers. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the like button, drop a comment, and stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll give you some more details on the giveaway. All right, and here we have the art box for Starfire. Very psychedelic. We don't have a picture of the actual statue, but kind of like a, I don't know, comic book panel version of her. Uh, you have the flame around her, the little green power, uh, and the star purple knight. So, pretty cool box. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Alright guys, so here we go. Let's take a look at the portrait for Starfire. There she goes. Got those kind of yellowish, greenish eyes. You see the makeup on her. Got that brown hair kind of turning into the flame color, which we'll see it do going into the base. But I think the portrait looks good, man. Nice full head of hair. Here's her right hand with that green flame like we saw on the art box. Got the little painted nails there. Here we have the exclusive piece that I mentioned, the Beast Boy riding on a cyborg uh, Roomba. Little Teen Titans Easter egg here. And you can see uh, he's all one piece except for his tail, which is over there by Starfire. Got a pretty large base. I like the uh, color of the flames. Here's the bottom. 142 out of 500. I think what's even more impressive is her hair going into this big, huge piece of flame that has a large peg that goes into the base. This is a huge piece, guys. It looks like uh, it may have been smaller pieces in the factory but uh, comes to us in one piece. And lastly, we have Starfire. She's almost one piece, just minus the head and her hand. I think I called it her right hand, so her left hand. And here we go. So, <laughs> very little costume, just this shiny purple boots and kind of a bathing suit almost. They went with kind of like the skin tone look for her. And uh, that's all of the pieces. Let's get her put together. All right, so let's get her assembled. We're gonna go ahead and put this piece into the base. That's a big peg, so you gotta really make sure you get it in there. All right, so with that part assembled, we'll get Starfire keyed in here so she can sit down on her bed of flames. All right, then she's gonna have a peg and a key to get her hair and her head in place. That's all there is to it. Let's just go ahead and get Beast Boy by her. And there you have it, all assembled. Right, guys like I mentioned Starfire is from DC Comics she's part of the Teen Titans superhero group she was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez and first appeared in DC Comics presents issue 26 in October of 1982 besides being around DC Comics since the 80s Starfire has also showed up in other forms of media most popular I would say for the Teen Titans cartoon from Cartoon Network. She's also showed up in the HBO Max series Titans where she's played by Anna Deal. Starfire is actually an alien from the planet Tamarin. She has the ability to absorb ultraviolet radiation and then she can convert that into pure energy. All right, so the tallest point of Starfire is the green tip flame right here. So let's see how tall she is. He stands just at 20 inches tall. The depth here about 15 inches and I guess the width you would be around 11 inches she's a pretty big piece man a pretty wide base uh, but I really like 
the sculpted and, and the concept here. So let's take a look at it. Uh, you have Starfire, one of the Teen Titans. She has uh, her hair, almost like a Medusa type hair, turning into flame that she's sitting on going into this very wide base. I like the sculpt. I think it's a, a nice look of fire. There are some seams on this base. Uh, and again, some of them surprise me. Some of them come together. They're not even you know keyed in or anything. But yeah, I mean, you can see the seam uh, where the hair goes into the base. It looks like this piece originally was not together. Uh, and it looks like there's a seam here as well. But I mean, I could overlook it. It's flame. It's moving. There's going to be some lines. I mean, I'm not... I don't really have a problem with that. I like the paint job. I'm a big fan of painted flame. I don't, I don't like really the translucency, especially when you're having this much fire. So I think they made the right call with painting it. Nice bright yellows, oranges to like darker, deeper reds. And of course going into kind of like her reddish brownish hair. A lot of nice sculpted in details on the hair turning into the flame. I think they nailed it there. And then you have uh, Starfire. Man, what can you say about the anatomy? I think it was sculpted immaculately. She looks great. They uh, put a lot of attention to what little costume she does have, right? She has these thigh-high boots, so it has the lines in there. Like, almost like a candy paint job on the purple. Like, you can kind of see the, like, sparkles in the paint. So I think that looks good. And uh, you have, of course, that silver trim. Bathing suit kind of onesie she's got going on here, showing off a lot of skin. Uh, you have this kind of little reddish belt buckle thing in the middle, which has this clear look to it. I think her holding the green flame is a good look because it kind of contrasts with kind of the, the, the warm colors that are on the rest of the piece, right? You have the oranges and the reds, her skin tone, and then you have this pop of green that really sets it off nicely. And then I think the portrait looks great. I mean, Sideshow female portraits have been on another level for the past year or so. Uh, she has a great, like, seductive look to her, really cutting her eyes at the room. And I think they did a good job on uh, the paint applications there. Almost has, like, a soft makeup look to it. I think it's a great piece. You know, I, I don't think that uh, too many people went in on this one. It feels like it's kind of underrated. I, I think it looks amazing. I liked it ever since I saw it at, uh, I don't know if it was New York or San Diego Comic Con. But, uh, I mean, she's a beautiful piece, man, for sure. I like what Sideshow's been doing with the exclusives. You know, I know some people don't really like the proximity pieces, but um, I really don't like to have head switch outs laying all over the room or keeping them in a box. So, yeah, I think I would rather have, like, an Easter egg proximity exclusive piece like Beast Boy. So, you know, we'll never probably get a quarter scale Beast Boy, but you get one in this kind of monkey form riding on Cyborg. Now, I hope we do see a Cyborg uh, comic version quarter scale, but in the meantime, you have this little Roomba that Beast Boy is riding on, so I think that's good enough for now. Before I let you go, I promised you some details on the current giveaway, so go ahead and check those out here. All right, guys, in order to be eligible for the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. So go ahead and hit the notification bell, hit the like button on this video, and most importantly, drop a comment below. Once we hit 95,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video where I promoted this giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a winner. You could be any age, any location. We will ship this worldwide, so go ahead and comment down below to enter. All right, guys, as always, I appreciate you watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my statue unboxing and reviews here. Stay minty fresh. Peace.